Besides text, you can also extrude shapes in Element 3D and make it make 3D objects. In order to do that, I have my layer right here and I got element applied to it, as you can see right here. So now I'm going to create another solid layer. So I'm just going to select solid and I'm going to name it as shape and press OK. So here I have my shape layer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to the shape tool right here. And let's say I'm going to um, just use the star shape right here. So let me just click and drag to make the star shape on um, to the solid layer right here. So now I'm going to go on to my dark gray solid uh, layer and I'm going to go on to the custom layer and then here under custom text and mask, I'm going to select shape. That is, I want to take shape as the reference. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into scene setup and over here, I'm going to click extrude. And here you can see that I have the shape um, uh, that I actually made in the layer as a 3D object. So I can uh, increase the size of this as well. So this is now bevel copy. This is one. Uh, so you can uh, scale this out as well. So I can enlarge the size. I can enlarge the path and so forth to get the shape as what I want, as you can see. So I can go to the preset. I'm going to go into my procedure and add in the material of my choice, just like that. And you look at that. That is quite cool, just like that. So now what I'm going to simply do is press OK so that it comes up, the uh, shape comes up over here. So I'm just going to go on to auto so you can see the full version of this just like that. So you can see that now that shape uh, comes here. So um, now it is taking this shape as a reference. So I'm just going to hide it out just like that so that I cannot see the shape. And over here in the solid area, I can simply go on uh, to the group that is on my group one section right here. So I'm going to go on to the uh, particle replicator and I'm going to change this off. So I'm just going to select this layer out just like that. And I'm going to go to its uh, position option right here. So I'm going to go over here so you can see that this is the position. Let me just click and drag it out so you can see that I can move the object elsewhere just like this or I can rotate this out. I can change the position of the object. I can go into rotation, rotate it and you can see that the object is there. So that is how you can uh, make 3D shapes inside of Element 3D. Hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.